What's up guys, I'm Mike from Stocked Up. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining why weekly options suck. Now, don't get me wrong, weekly options can be awesome to trade for the short term. Sometimes you can pick up these options for a hundred bucks and by the end of the day, they're worth 300, but there's so much risk involved with weekly options. In this video, I just wanna kind of break down why that is and how it works so you guys can understand and um, hopefully not make some uh, mistakes while you're actually trading. So uh, please stick around to the end of the video. I have some really cool visualizations to show everyone. And if you aren't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe. I post brand new videos every single day, but let's get right into the video. So uh, like I said, make sure you guys stick around to the end. We have a lot to go over. So um, first I wanna pull up a chart on how options lose value over time. All options decay in value, and this is called theta decay. Now. Um, the main thing is to understand how options decay over time. When options have a ton of time left, they don't really decay that much, right? We can see in this span, it's from nine months all the way to four months, and it does fall, but it's nothing, nothing drastic, right? But when there's only one month left of expiration, uh, that's when the options start to decay more. So we could see the closer we get to expiration, um, the quicker options start to decay. Now, options decay the most when they only have one week left till expiration. So just know this, the closer you are till that options expiration, the more it's going to decay. So it's always safer to buy options with time left in them. So when you're trading weekly options, you're literally buying options right here when they're losing their value the most. So that's obviously, it, it's not a good mix. And um, the, the sad part is that I see a lot of beginner traders playing these weekly plays and sometimes they even predict the direction correctly but they still lose money and i'm gonna give a perfect demonstration of that um, in like a minute but just know that the closer you are to expiration the quicker you're going to decay um, it's always better to get options with time so now for the example so we can see let's say there's a beginner trader and they're looking at um let's say tesla so if we look at tesla and they're saying you know what tesla is bouncing off support and I think it's gonna go up this week. It seems like Tesla goes up every week and I have $100 put in this play. So they go over to the Tesla options chain and they go, wow, you know, when at the money option costs uh, $2,800 and they can't find any option that, you know, let's say they only have $100. So they, all, they go all the way out to the, they go all the way out to the 1000 strike expiration. We can see right here, I'm on optionsprofitcalculator.com. I have Tesla's current price. Um, they have the weekly 1,000 strike call. Costs about 100 bucks, that would be perfect for them. So the market is closed on Monday for MLK Day. So uh, the market's gonna start trading again back on the 19th, right? So if they bought this option on Friday, right? Tesla is currently at um, $826. When the market opens back up on Monday, they need Tesla to be at about $864 and, and that's just to be down 7%. If they wanna be up on this option, uh, they would have to have Tesla around 800 and I don't know, 66 or something like that, just to be break even. And that's on the 19th. And then on the 20th, they need Tesla at around $890. And then on the 21st, they need Tesla at around $924. And then by the time, yeah, and then on, on the 22nd, they need Tesla around, what is it, 900 and you could say $72. So every single day they need Tesla to go up more and more and more in value because they are buying the option when it's decaying the most. So a lot of times I see beginner traders predict the direction correctly, but because they buy these options, they need the stock to move so much in their favor where most of the time that doesn't happen. So, you know, this is where a lot of beginners make um, a really crucial mistake in my opinion is because a lot of times with options, it's not necessarily about the direction. So for example, with credit spread sometimes, you can predict the direction wrong and still make money. With weekly options, you can predict the direction correctly and still lose money. And this is a perfect example. You know, like you, like if you buy a bad quality option, you need such a drastic move um, to the point where even if you, you know, say you think Tesla's gonna go up and it does go up, you can still lose money. So now I wanna show you 
an alternative example using an in the money option. So you see like how every day you need Tesla to go up more and more, right? Let's say you bought an in the money option. It's pretty much um, if it if it goes up, you're making money or if it goes down, you're losing money. It, it's so much more simple. Like you see like how the green line is basically flat all across while the green line here, it's, it's sloping um, very high, you know, and that's because of the theta decay. When you buy options that are in the money, um, the time value of that option is very small. So basically, whenever you buy an out of the money option, you're only paying for time. So for example, if we go to the Tesla options chain, you know, this 920 strike call option has no real value. Like if you break this down into simple terms, the 920 call option, all it allows you to do is buy 100 shares of Tesla at $920 each. And why would you do that when Tesla is at $826 right now? So this $400 is just time premium. It has no real value to it. While if we go to, let's say, the 780 strike call option, that has real value. Tesla right now is at 826 and this option is saying, hey, you can buy 100 shares of Tesla at $780, right? That has real value. So any out of the money options have no real value to them. It's all time premium. So the options that have no real value, um, you can see if we go over here, this is their, this is the, um, the chart of their um, theta decay, right? Well, in the money options, there's less of this time value in that option overall. So it doesn't really decay as much. So I just wanna show a side-by-side, -side, uh, a good demonstration of a weekly option versus an option that actually has some quality to it. So like you could see right here, you need the stock to really move up. While if you buy a good quality option, it's binary. If the stock goes up, you're making money. If it doesn't, you're losing money. You know, so I, I just think so many beginners, um, they just get caught up just because they don't know how these options work and they end up losing money when they're actually predicting the direction correctly. So um, I hope this video helped everyone. Uh, the main takeaways is, you know, let's say you're saying, all right, Mike, thanks for bringing this up to me, but what can I do? Like, let's say I have a small account and I can't afford an in the money option. There's two ways to get around um, the trap of weekly options that, you know, look like this, where you, you just have to have the stock move so much. The first way, are spreads. So like if you do like a debit spread, that can be amazing. It's limited risk. It helps fight time decay. And you can get some pretty nice deals with debit spread. So um, if you want to learn more about debit spreads with options, you can uh, look it up on YouTube. There's a great site called investopedia.com. I even have a couple videos. I'll put them in the description below. And then another way to do it is just options with time. So if you can't afford to buy in the money, but let's say you only have $100 to spend, you know, don't buy an option that expires this week, like at least get a couple weeks, like I would say at least maybe 20 to 30 days, maybe 40 days, um, the more the better, ideally. So a lot of times it's worth the extra money to just pay for more time. So for example, we're looking at the January 22nd 1000 strike call option, right? If you go out to the next week and like, let's say um, you pick up the 1100 strike call option and we calculate that, we can see that the theta decay is less significant compared to the weekly option. So the main takeaway is, you know, if you can't afford in the money options, you could always get more time or use debit spread. So I really hope this video can help a lot of people. Um, like I said, I see a lot of beginners making mistakes like this and it's a pretty crucial mistake because a lot of times it's not even about direction. So if you guys gain some value from this video or learn something, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a comment down below or like and subscribe. I post brand new videos every single day. But other than that, thanks for watching.